Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to explain the Youngbird system. So um, I'm gonna show you what I do with my Youngbirds every single day. So I'm going to open up the Sputnik and then we're going to release the pigeons. This up. And then the pigeons can go outside. Come on, little guys, you can go outside. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. There the first one goes, and most of the time, if the first one goes, the rest has to follow. But they don't want to fly because they're very hungry, but that's actually good because then they're going coming inside very quick. Come on, let's go, all outside. Come on, come on. No, no, don't come inside. Come on. And you guys, why don't you go outside, man? Very, very. Uh, wait a second, I'm going to try and... Okay, they're all outside now. Like, um, the reason why they don't want to go outside is because yesterday they had uh, not a lot of food. They just got a little bit and it's already 24 hours ago when they first got their food. So they're very very hungry and I know for sure like 100% that uh, these pigeons are, go coming, are going to come inside very very quick. Um, they're flying right now. Um, as you can see I tried to focus and now we're going to make the food. So yeah, let's do that. I always make a mixture of three different um, varieties of food. This is the breeding mixture. Like just one cup goes in here. And then I'm going to add the other ones. This is a breeding mixture. This is a diet mixture. Also one cup. As you can see in a couple of minutes we're just going to mix it up. But we're going to add another one. And this mixture we add also. Um, it's just this mixture we add 30% because it has a very big corn. And they need to learn, young babies need to learn and eat all the big corns. So that we mix that up. Let's do that. And that's what they are going to get to f for food. I always um, like what I do is I take this cup, I take one cup, this is one cup, I put it in another cup, and then a little bit more to the uh, just a little bit too much. That's just about right, and that goes right to the feeding tray. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And as you can see, there is grit in uh, in the feeding tray from yesterday. I always replace it. Just do it like this. Turn it over. Put food in there. And then if they uh, come inside, if I see they, are, uh, they has, have stopped flying, they're going to sit here. And what I do is I put, pull this up and then they all have uh, food and the one that is first inside gets the most food. So uh, that's how I uh, call my pigeons inside. And as you can see, they're flying very, very high right now. That's a sign of good. Uh, condition 
it's very nice to see it's uh, very windy at the moment right now but, um, that doesn't matter and I'm going to tell you what you also need to do every day to keep your health pigeons healthy let's go so this is the drinking um, pot as you can see very dirty I'm going to put it here in the sunlight and um, you actually need to replace oh, or I actually replace it every day so um, I just let it be like this I use this and then we clean it like this just simple and once a week very good like with hot water but this is very good if you do it every day because it's all it's only water it's not gonna be very very dirty but you need to clean it up very well and my feet are getting wet so that's not nice just pour it away very clean as you can see just a little bit of dirtiness in there just gonna do that out of there and then we just pour in pure water, no other things. Why is that? Because I think that it's very important if, if you do things in the water that they don't like the taste of, they're going to uh, a place uh, in your neighboring um, area and they if they see like a... Um, like a place full of water, like groundwater or rainwater, they're going to drink that and that's not healthy for them. As you can see, I didn't clean for three days. The drops, I think they're very good. The red droppings you see, it's from the grid. Um, and here you have some. I don't clean every day, I don't like it. Um, I think it's good for the pigeon. So they can build a very good immune system, but of course you have to clean sometimes um, in like once a week or something is good enough. Best the best is actually three once a day, but um, I don't like that. I'm way too lazy for that. And um, yeah, that's something I don't like. Let's film the pigeons. They're still flying very well. I'll zoom in on them. Ah. Uh, if it can go sharp very good flying I like to see that they first don't like to go outside and then you see they train very well just because they're hungry I think they're going to go inside in like just 20 seconds and then everything is going to be inside that's how my patient listened to me Very nice shots right now of the pigeons. So all the birds landed. We're going to open it. So these pigeons are in first, they are going to have more food and if every food is gone, if it is empty, then the other birds don't get any food. They need to listen just as good as the other ones. It's like punishment if they don't come inside. But uh, this doesn't really happen that much actually. Yeah, I'm gonna try one more time. But these two that just flew, like uh, that one and 
uh, like this one is like new to the loft and this one this black one never listens so um, if the black ones this black one always doesn't listen then I need it's just um, pigeons part you always need to be selecting the best pigeons and a pigeon that doesn't listen is not good and it holds back all the other pigeons so these are really eating really nice and what I'm going to do is put this like down a little bit so they can just come inside so if my fist can go through a pigeon can go through yeah sure so um, this is actually um, how I this is the young bird ritual daily ritual and after they have uh, eaten they get um, like grit I will show you this is great, it's just a mixture of, uh, of bread, you get just a little bit, just, um, it's too much actually for them, but uh, they really like to eat it, looks like this, if, yeah like this, and um, if the feeding tray is empty, then I will give this to them, and then they have that as a des dessert, I think you can say. So I actually like that these three birds are not coming inside. So I explain, so I can explain to you what you need to do. Um, if a bird doesn't come inside and the other pigeons are coming inside, you just give food for the pigeons that are inside, and the pigeons that are outside, they don't get any food. Then they become hungry, and the next day they will. These three birds will. Tomorrow will be the first inside because they didn't, did not get any food today. I really don't like that they don't listen. Um, actually, a little bit mad, but um, yeah, I really can't do anything about it. So I'm just um, chilling. Just wait a little bit. Like they're not hungry anymore. They have fed enough. Then it's time to take away the feeding tray. What I'm going to do is um, the food in there is is too much because the birds that are outside I don't want them to eat because they're uh, not listening. So what I'm going to do is just do it like that, then put that on there so that they cannot get onto the food and grit they will get right now I'll just nice and that's my uh, ritual guys um, I hope you enjoyed enjoyed and um, bye